Hello friends, Sniz here, and today I am kind of cutting oh, way ahead of, in time and showing you my Golix, my Helix clear. Uh, this is the first one on my Thunderbreaker. Uh, I had around 8.1k stat, 8,100 uh, strength, and as you can see I had to use a shit ton of buffs to actually clear the crystal because I had the mechanics down and you'll probably see later on in the series that I was managing to get to the gem after I got the mechanics, but I just didn't have enough DPS to match the gem's timeout uh, period. So uh, I think I ended up getting one of the rings from the current King of the Rings events and cubing it up to unique for some more percent stat. Uh, I had I don't think I used it actually in this video, but I had the giant. The mutant snail, uh, but that wasn't used in, in this clear at all, which was pretty dumb of me because I probably could have avoided a few deaths. I had to use buff freezers because uh, I I don't know if it was lag on some points. I mean, I scream in the video about lag, but I feel like it was just bad plays on my part. But other than that, the reason I'm doing this uh, post-commentary is because there's a few things I want to go over that uh, Thunderbreakers are, that specific to Thunderbreaker, but can also be just uh, kept in mind for anyone else who is trying to clear Helix by themselves, or whether it be solo progression or just to make that next milestone in their uh, damage. Obviously, the more damage you have, the easier it's going to be for you, uh, because you're going to have to spend less time working on your mechanics or dodging things uh, than I am, because you're spending less time on each phase. Uh, I believe I Cygnus Knights or anything that can lay down something that uh, will a summon that will clear the bottom makes this insanely easy. For Cygnus Knights, we have the Jousting Squad or whatever it's called uh, that summons little bird things with the spears, and that'll clear the bottom or yeah, the jaw area for you perfectly clear. And uh, alongside that. Rush skills are super important to to know and just having reaction time. What's super important with Thunderbreaker is since we're a combo class, as in we get more damage from alternating our skills, uh, you, I think one of our passives gives us 30% final damage if we link a skill. Uh, and also the fact that when you use a skill and it was linked, you get locked in place for a period of time before you can actually move again. Especially with the rush skill, uh, title crash. When after using it, you get locked in place for like a solid, like three fourths of a second to a second. And if you immediately use another skill linking linking into it, you can uh, remove that. If you you try using two title crashes in a row, you're gonna find yourself waiting a long period of time. But if you title cr if you rush then use an attacking move and then rush again, it'll be much quicker. Uh, so with that noted, you'll also see on the second phase or the eyes, I am standing to the very, very left most I can and so far left that I'm even using the rush skill to make sure I'm on the very edge. Uh, this is because the arm can reach up and take you down from there. And uh, like mentioned before, uh, Thunderbreaker will get locked in place. so. Even if you see the arm coming up, uh, I specifically did not have enough time to duck before the animation finished, and I would die. So uh, looking at a bunch of videos and like how other people do it, uh, yeah, standing to the leftmost or the rightmost on either of those middle platforms will will really will ensure that the the arm won't even come up. And if you move even a little more to the right and the arm comes up, if you rush to the left immediately, you'll avoid it completely, which I found really interesting. Nothing else really to note. Uh, it's a basic helix clear, I guess, but it took me a lot of time because I like I think in the, the newest episode I'm going to uh, upload, I play like an absolute pussy trying to fight a uh, normal mode helix. And when I finally realized that you have to just stay in the middle, and actually just learn to dodge, uh, learn the mechanics of the fight, it becomes a lot easier. Uh, practice makes perfect, obviously. I recommend buff freezers heavily because there were so many times I walked in here with a Wilderness Hunter buff, died immediately because I didn't know the arm would try and grab you like ASAP, and I would lose the Wilderness Hunter buff and just leave because I, I it was, a, and these were on hard runs, so.
a waste of a buff and a uh, waste of my time. Luckily, I got a superior pendant on my first clear. This isn't like the biggest showcase because I had a lot of buffs. I had an MVP 30 weapon attack, I had a red pot, I had a green pot, I had 100 weapon attack from the Wilderness Hunter, I had 30 attack from guild buff, and I think there was another thing in there, I don't really remember. Biggest ones to note are green, red, guild buff, the MVP 30 attack, and the Wilderness Hunter, of course. Um, useful uh, things to note is you. I could have taken a familiar in. Uh, much like the mutant snail, uh, that would have saved me from, if I didn't get pegged by a pink breath, I would have survived uh, two uh, purple breaths because it, the mutant snail would have most likely healed me in the interval time, so I would have healed above half to tank another one. And I was avoiding often enough that I would have probably taken a purple hit and then healed it off before I got hit by another one. Um, other than that, there's really not much to note. I'll probably upload the raw clip of me screaming and cursing uh, later, but for now I just wanted to go over the small little things I do. I'll probably do a more in-depth video about what I mean, but this was the first Helix clear I've ever managed to do. Like, uh, I have never gotten past 210 before I started this and really got dedicated to this character, so this was quite the accomplishment for me since it took me literally weeks of practicing. and just not even weeks of practicing it just took me like five days before i realized oh buff freezers were a thing and then i started practicing for like four days and after that it's just it's just timing um other classes will have an easier time rushing to either side uh but thunderbreaker notably does get locked in place after using a link skill or comboing whatever you want however you want to refer to it uh other than that Good luck on your own clears, uh, and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye, friends.